when we tell people that we live on a farm, they look at us as if we're crazy. <laughs> Especially when they find out that we have livestock. The property was obtained as crown land to, given to Jacob Scott in 1828. And he was a school teacher from England and he started slowly building the house. We've been chopped up a few times. Um, we are now 55 acres. We're going through a hard time trying to find a placement for my husband in a nursing home because he has Alzheimer's dementia. The boys want to continue farming. It's working now as long as both boys can do it. Our youngest son, Adam, works for the city of Mississauga. He leaves at six in the morning, and when he's back in the evening, he does the evening farm work, taking care, feeding the animals and whatever. Jason has his own business. He's a cabinet maker, Hustler Design House. And uh, so he comes here in the morning, and he takes care of the morning work. If they can't manage, then we might not have the choice. We might have to sell it. To be honest, if, if in the future we sell, it would be the workable land, but the house and a certain amount of acreage would be kept. Frank's father, who was born in 1883, was born in this house. Frank was born upstairs in this house in 1940. When uh, we got married, there wasn't anything, nothing around here. You did your shopping either in Milton, Brampton, and I think there was a grocery store in Streetsville. But we had no neighbors. It was all vacant land. I want to keep the house. It's just that now with myself mostly alone, uh, it never felt big until now. <laughs>